Welcome back to the Expressworks tool. And the next uh, adventure would be about uh, extracting parameters from the URL. So parameters in the URL, you would often see this uh, pattern in uh, RESTful APIs. It's a very common pattern where you have uh, an entity or a resource, for example, message, and then you would have an ID, like an object ID. And uh, what we need to do here, we need to apply this code. So we need to use crypto and basically create a hash, SHA-1 hash from that uh, input. Okay. So let's go to the editor, create a new file. As always in the beginning, I would be importing all the dependencies so we can use them later. And uh, Express is the way we create an app. Okay, so now app.put message slash ID. This is how we tell Express.js to look out for this ID. And Express.js will populate reg.params with that ID. And then I'm just pasting and retyping the code for the hash. Crypto, it's an NPM module. Oh, actually, it's not an NPM module. We don't need to install it. So anyways, uh, you, you feel free to look up the crypto module documentation on an node.js.org app.listen we use this we're using process.rv2 okay so what's happening here the put is the http verb we can have get post put delete and some other methods so in this case it's a put it means update this resource it's a partial update and then message slash colon ID. So colon tells Express.js that this is a parameter. Express.js automatically parses the value from the URL. We don't need to do anything. We just get this nice object, reg.params, with a plural. So you can have more than one parameters. For example, we can have You can have more than one parameters and they would appear in that object as well. And this is just something that crypto uses. So we are creating a string with a date, adding the ID and then uh, hashing it. So let me save it. And let's go to the terminal. Okay, it's running without errors. Okay, it's passing. So everything works. If you want, we can also make this run with a node mon or node by modifying this line. So we can add 3000. Okay, so our server is running, so we can go to, we can go to the postman and submit a put request. Okay, so let's remember this, 89.72. Now if we modify ID, I would expect it to be different. Okay, so now it's different. If you go in a browser, you would not see it because the browser is using get, not put. That's why we need Postman.
let me double check with the express works okay it says completed 